Okay, I'm just making this video quick because I just found out that the creator of the 2007 Flatland film, uh, Lad Ellinger, also known as Film Lad, is literally just a racist conservative. Like, he's openly and proudly a conservative. He has made multiple conservative political ads that are just really fucking blatantly racist and misogynistic and conservative. In one of them, he literally says that the concept of government-funded health care and free meals for kids is the exact same thing as slavery. <clears throat> I'm not joking. He thinks that the government doing its job and providing health care to people and free meals for school kids is slavery. He also has another video which ad which has been described by multiple people as the most offensive political ad in history from 2011 of a sex worker pole dancing and shaking her butt and she has the face of I don't remember the name whatever politician the ad is supposed to be against with her face photoshopped onto the sex worker to imply that she's a sex worker with black people with guns uh, chanting uh, give me your money bitch so we can shoot up the streets because it's saying that if you let people out of jail and give them jobs then that's the same thing as being a sex worker and that all black people are violent and just want to overrun the streets. It's just blatantly racist. It is actually so blatantly racist and misogynistic that YouTube has actually restricted the video. So if you look it up, none of the articles that are talking about it can actually link to the video in question because YouTube has restricted it so that you can only see it and search it on YouTube because it's that blatantly hateful. Do you know how bad something has to be for YouTube to restrict the video? Yeah, it's called a give me your money bitch. And you can look it up on YouTube for yourself or look it up on the internet archive because it's saved to the Wayback Machine. And you can look at his other fucking videos that he's made, because he's literally just conservative. Which explains all of the problems with the 2007 Flatland film that I've had a problem with for a while now, but I didn't fucking think it was going to be this blatantly horrible. Like... It's a, an absurdist parody that has nothing to do with any of the political themes from the original novel from more than a hundred years ago. And it doesn't do anything with those themes at all. And it's just an absurdist parody. And yeah, well now we know why it doesn't actually want to engage with any of the feminism or anti-racism and anti-ableism from the original novel from 1874. It's because the person who made that movie is literally a conservative. So, yeah. Not a lot of people are aware of this because why would you think to look up the creator of a Flatland adaptation? and expect to see that he's just openly conservative and so blatantly racist that YouTube voluntarily restricts the video that he made. And most of the other ones have been removed from YouTube now, so you can't even watch them with the Wayback Machine because they were archived too late. But, yeah. I'm making this video because everybody... the 2007 Flatland film is free to watch on YouTube, unlike most of the other full-length Flatland movies.
So it's the one that most people watch because it's free and it's on YouTube. It's right there. It doesn't require any effort. You don't have to jump through hoops trying to find it at a library or anything. So I'm making this video so that more people are aware of exactly the kind of person that created the 2007 Flatland film. Because it's just abominable and absurd. And people deserve to be aware of exactly what kind of person made that movie and what his thought process was going in. So, if you were upset and irritated like me by the fact that the 2007 Flatland film doesn't actually engage properly with any of the anti-bigotry themes from the original novel, now we all know why. It's because Lad Ellinger has been a racist, misogynistic bigot this entire time. And since I know a lot of the people that really enjoy the 2007 Flatland film are young queer people, you deserve better and you deserve to know and yeah this is the video so just wanted to make sure people were aware of this because I would have rather known this and not watched the video the movie which is filled with flashing lights and motion sickness inducing spinning anyways and didn't really contribute anything besides a few absurdist humor things. So yeah, the creator of the 2007 Flatland film is racist. He's a literal conservative. He's literally running a conservative talk show. So yeah, that's it. That's the video. If you're disappointed and you wanted to watch the 2007 Flatland film, I mean, you still can. I'm not going to stop you. But if you are looking for an actual... Uh, can't think of the word. Proper, relevant adaptation for Flatland, you're not going to find it in the 2007 Flatland film anyways, because it's not a meaningful adaptation. It's literally just an absurdist parody that doesn't really do anything meaningful with the thing and in fact gets a whole bunch of crap really wrong and misrepresents a whole lot of crap from the book so you are better off just watching literally any of the other flatland animations and movies that people have made over the decades and there's a free awesome audiobook of the original novel on the Internet Archive and on LibriVox that I recommend. And you can now also read the, two th the 2024 Flatland translation into casual English so that it is easier to understand. That's on the Internet Archive. It's on Itch.io. You can read it on Tumblr and all of this crap. So you can still read Flatland or watch it. There's a lot of animations people have made. You can even just ask somebody for a summary. Maybe I will make my own Flatland adaptation. I don't know. I have COVID right now, so that's it. Bye-bye.